Um, hello, everyone. Yeah, hello, bro. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Awesome. So, yeah, I'd like, I'd like first to address any kind of your questions that you might have. Uh, like in Islam, in generally speaking, anything you'd like to ask? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, was wanting to deal with this uh, this topic. If uh, mm -hmm. if we could go to it, um, I of course go ahead. Okay, then you could go. We could look at uh, Surah three fifty four. Three fifty four. All right, let's pull up the PC text. Uh, give me a second. Three fifty four. Fifty four. Yeah, give me a second. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Blue plan, but I'll fine. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, what about it? Uh yeah, so the the word that that is used is uh I think you I don't know. I think you're an Arab Arab speaker, right? Yeah. So mak makar. Yeah, the makrin, right? Oh, Allah. Yeah. Makrin, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so basically. Yeah. Yeah. Go I ahead. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah. When you tr trans translate it directly into English, it says of it as like deceiver, right? Is that, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very common argument because uh, look, uh, makr, right? Uh, like it's a it's a city port. Can, it can be deceiver, it can be, you know, wiser, outsmarting, right? Uh, all of these things. Uh, so, so yeah, in, in the context of this, is that the disbelievers, right, they try to think that they are trick Allah. They try to lie to Allah, right? The disbelievers, idol worshippers, uh, the pagans, uh, whoever they may be, they try to uh, outsmart Allah. They try to deceive uh, the Muslims, uh, uh, the good people, the devout people. So Allah... Uh, in turn, will uh, misguide them and deceive them. You know, they, they basically reap, reap what they sow, essentially, right? It okay. doesn't mean that Allah deceives anyone but... in general. But basically, if you... I'm sorry, I'll start to interrupt. I'll just I'll finish and then... Yeah, sure, the answer, sure. Yeah. But yeah, uh, in essence, right, if you try to disrespect Allah, try to uh, try to outsmart Allah, uh, or try to deceive His creation, uh, then yeah, Allah will just do, uh, do this to you back because, yeah, you get what you are, you reap what you sow, right? So yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so the act is basically trickery or to cheat or to uh, deceive, as you said, the word is. So you're saying that Allah would stoop down to their level as well to do the same act because it's the same act. It's like doing the same act onto them as to deceive or to trick them. Let, let me ask you a question, right? Uh, yeah. If someone, right, um, let's say, Kills one of your family, right? Yeah. Uh, unwarranted, unwarranted, right? Just does it for the sake of it, right? That is wrong, yes? That's uh, wrong. If someone kills one of your family, that's wrong, yeah? It, can you repeat it? If someone kills somebody of your family, yeah. that is wrong, right? Yeah. So now, if you kill, if you kill them back, is, uh, is that wrong? If you kill them back? Uh... If, you kill, if you kill the killer, is that wrong? Yeah, justice has to be done, but uh, I exactly. would, yeah. So, uh, this, is, this is the thing, right? So we don't judge an action just uh, on its own, right? There is context to it. And it says, like, let's read the verse again. All, they plan and Allah is the best of planners, right? Uh, why, the reason it says planner specifically because this is the intended meaning, right? Because they try to plan, they try to deceive, they try to do uh, their own shenanigans. But Allah plans. Allah pl and his planning outsmarts its uh, superior to whatever they plan. Right. Yeah. So, it, 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 yeah. It's a very simple uh, concept, right? So I hope this clears it up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the same. Uh, he, they plan to deceive, and he deceived them. So basically, the word is actually right. Uh, he's deceived. Truth, he, truth defender. Truth defender. Um, is is deceiving wrong? Is deceiving wrong? Yeah, I would say deceiving is wrong because uh, okay. the context behind this. Let's. Uh, can we go to the context behind why Allah deceived them? Is it okay if we go so, to that? Uh, 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 there's just a point that would like to make. Uh, why are you sympathizing? Like, let's say uh, you're a Christian, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the Israelites who tried to stone Jesus, right? Tried to hurt them. Well, uh, uh, 
and a fight will kill him, right? And you believe that yeah, that they killed him. Yeah. Right? Or do you have sympathy for this kind of people? I won't have sympathy, but there's uh there is a better way that you could have deal with this. Can we just uh, can, uh -huh. is it okay if I share my screen? Well, uh, look, uh, you're welcome to. But one thing that I would like to establish that's very important. First, uh, God uh, comes first, right? He does what he wants. Yeah. Yeah, sure. He does what There's he wants. Yeah, yeah. So look, uh, to try to uh, judge that on your own. Okay, actually, Allah, why does he do this? Why didn't he do that instead, right? Uh, like this kind of point of reasoning, like uh, there's no point to it, right? But okay, like, okay. I could just all go, out, go about all day. Like for example, after I pull up the Old Testament, why did God do this? Why did God order Moses to do this and that? Like look, uh, this kind of uh, line or process, like it just won't get us anywhere, like right? So we don't like just judge actions of, uh, of God in general because uh, in my opinion it's kind of like uh, an arrogant you might not mean this of course but uh, I just you know to, uh, to believe that okay my opinion or my judgment is just going to be uh, superior to God right yeah, you yeah. What I, mean? I understand so, yeah yeah no, yeah. No... yeah yeah I understand what you mean and, and, and you do have a point uh, but but we need to uh, go to the context because we can get down to actually like I could just make up a claim and say this is why Allah did it or whatnot but yeah that's why I just want to share my screen and then we could go through it and you could share your thoughts and I could just and we could just go go like look at the context if that's okay with you just to defend I already know the context the context is the people try to kill Jesus the son of Mary uh they planned on trying to kill him but Allah planned better and saved him how did he uh, how did he save him by making it better. Yeah, he him to him. By, yeah, him to but him. he deceived the he deceived everyone by casting the look of another man, uh, Jesus on the on another person, and the, everyone believed that it was Jesus. So, yeah. Give me a second. Um, is deceiving if God deceives people? Is it wrong? In that context, it was totally wrong because he made Christianity believe for what it believed because of his deception. No, no, no. His deception. So okay, wait, wait. So... Are, are you Christian? Sorry, Sybil. Uh, I'll just I want to ask my question. So are you Christian because Jesus? I don't know. Yeah, because like he, he because he history like because historical because historical fact proved that Jesus did die on the cross. But uh, Islam, uh, Muhammad came six hundred years yeah, after, but, and yeah, he. But... but why didn't he correct the people right after? Like he deceived them and made them believe this. And six hundred years after, right. he, he came with this message. So they weren't. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah okay. that's the point yeah. I'm trying to make. So, one point is one point is is that the main belief of Christianity isn't that Jesus died; it's the uh, making him divine, and then that he died for people's sins, and so on. So on right? No, no, so, no, no. Uh, I'll just correct a point. The main, the main, uh, the main reason why we're Christian is because Jesus he proved that he overcame death and proved who he is. So he died, him dying and dying on the cross and rose, raise again. The Bible says, without that, our faith is in vain. So that's the that's the main point of Christianity. Right, but uh, he is your, uh, to you, he is your God, and he died for your sins, right? The, the, the main two points. Right? Yeah, but, no. yeah, but the, and, and that's the reason why we believe it, because yeah. according to your, uh, according to the Quran, Allah is the one who did make us believe that, because he cast, he made an image of someone, yeah, but... someone else to look like Jesus. Right, so one thing is, one thing is, is that, look, uh, yeah, let's go with that. That it looked like Jesus died. All right. No, that's uh, the that's so, the that's the that's from your sources. That's not. Uh, I'm not making. Yeah, that. yeah, but, but, yeah, but, 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 but yeah, but you're quoting me, right? So I, I'm answering you, right? Yeah. So uh, let's say, uh, okay, from this perspective, okay, uh, it was made that Jesus was the one who died. All right. Now, that is still uh, Allah didn't tell you to worship Jesus, uh, and, and according to us, because you you mentioned the Quran right now, He didn't tell you to worship Jesus. He didn't tell you that you uh, that He died for your sins. It didn't tell you that just believing and then whether your actions uh, still don't matter because uh, if you believe that you left for sins, then you're forgiven, right? So these things will not mention, right? So even if you want to establish that, but, if yeah. you want to take it on Allah, essentially, yeah. uh, that's okay, he is the reason we live in Christianity because look, first, not all Christians even worship Jesus, right? Uh, early Christians like the A.B. Knights, if you're aware of them, uh, and, and other groups don't even worship Jesus, right? So look, but uh, uh, like a main, you made a main point. you made some points. Can I can I just touch on them if it's okay? I mean, you can, but like the main point that I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, right? Uh, 
uh, Allah didn't tell you to worship Jesus. But Allah didn't tell you that he died for your sins. Yeah. So uh, this, even, this is an irrelevant point. And, and let me, uh, one thing I would like to tell you, one last thing, is that look, we say in Islam, Allah uh, bin niyat. Actions are judged by intentions. So let's say that I was uh, a monotheist, I believed only in God, but I thought that Jesus died. Right? And I thought, look, to me that, okay, but uh, out of my own, say, uh, ignorance, even though not everyone believed it, but sure. Let's say I believe that. Uh, am I, for example, sinful? Or will I go to hell? No. It doesn't work that way, right? But, so um, by that, it's not sure. Yeah, but you have to ask so the question. Yeah, you can go ahead now. Yeah, we uh, can go ahead now. Okay, I'll, ju I'll just ad address some points. So you said uh, Allah didn't make us believe that, but the Quran did confirm the 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 Bible, the, the, the scriptures, the book that are revealed to the Christians and the Jews. It did confirm that, and it was within the time of Muhammad, mm -hmm. and the message that was there is that uh, the Christian did believe that Jesus died and rose. So it's it's more on uh, Allah is approving the message and, uh, and and at the same time, he's contradicting himself. No, do not believe this. So yeah, he's the one who did who, who did deceive and, and cause Christianity and he sent the message 600 years after. So he deceived and the deception was to raise Jesus. So why couldn't he raise Jesus up without deceiving and casting the image upon another man? Truth right. and so look, first, if you believe this thing that he is this deceived you, so now you have to, you know you know the truth. Why don't you become a Muslim? <laughs> That's just one thing. Like you feel like you're being deceived, so why are you still in that belief? That's one thing. Okay. Um. Second so, thing is, okay. Uh, you mentioned. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 let's just let me finish and let you finish, right? Uh, that's one thing, right? If you feel like you're being deceived, so why are you still in that belief? That's one thing. Secondly, is that uh, you mentioned the Quran. Uh, apparently affirms the gospel. Uh, it says first, it says the Injil. What is the Injil? Injil is the gospel given to Jesus. It's the, the revelation given to Jesus, right? And this was not written down. What we have today are the gospels of Matthew, Luke, and Mark. Those are but, accounts. Okay. Right, of the, on, uh, sorry, again, again, please give me... You see, you, no, wait, wait, wait. No, I, 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 no, I'll let you continue. No, I just want to point out something because you're making a lot of points and I may have missed some. So if we can just stick on one point and then you can con like we can go on one point because sometimes you're making a, a lot of I mean, points am, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i was addressing i was you you said that the quran affirms the gospel right so yeah. I, i'm answering that all the, the what i'm saying right now is just an answer to this right so look, relax take your time sure not going anywhere right but uh, we shouldn't interrupt interrupt each other we won't have a, a productive discussion because uh, i can notice that uh, you came to this discussion with like a lot of uh you know Presumptions and a lot of things that uh, you have that you have so you have a lot of baggage essentially. So yeah, I want to like take this slow uh, bit by bit. All right. Sure. So so yeah. Uh, when the Quran mentions the Injil, this is what you were talking about Injil. It is the, the revelation given to uh, Jesus or say Isa, peace be upon him. Uh, but yeah, but we, what we have today, right? The Gospels that we have today, what are they? They are accounts, right, of uh, of authors, mysterious authors. Uh, of well, what Jesus was talking about, uh, or what Jesus supposedly claimed, so on and so forth. Yeah, we don't reject all of them, right? We, we do believe there's truth in them, but at the same time, we do, we do not acknowledge uh, them as like absolute authority. That's one thing, right? So these are first secondhand accounts, not direct revelation. And uh, these uh, authors were anonymous, the names were added later on, actually. In addition to, we don't even know who was Matthew, who was Mark, who was, you know, uh, all those people, the apostles, like we don't have. Uh, we don't know who they are, who they are. what their full names, their biographies. Uh, we don't have this, right? So uh, that, that's the thing, all right? Okay, sure. Now, so... another question, which is like the main question on top of this. If the Quran, if Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, affirms yeah. the gospel, right? So what is the point of Islam? Right? If, it's, uh, if we should all be Christians right now, what is the point of Islam? Why, am I, uh, why are we even here, right? But look, uh, we can just like take one verse, you know, take it as it is and just ignore everything else. Like, okay, you uh, you say, Prophet Muhammad acknowledges the gospel. Acknowledges, uh, okay, the, the gospel that we have right now, okay? Why, why are we not Christians, right? Okay. Uh, like, that's also a qu uh, question that you should okay. uh, think about. Right? And, yeah, you may go ahead now. Okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah, you said uh, the gospels that we don't know who they are, but we do actually do know, do know who they are. Uh, 
the others uh name it there the or the early churches uh affirmed these uh these gospels and Muhammad came six hundred years later and he didn't have any contact with these witnesses and he and I, I should ask uh where's the original for you to make a comparison? Do you have the original? Did Muhammad have the original? Why didn't he keep it or why isn't there any original copy? And Allah and Allah said he, his word will never change and he his word will not change. So he failed to protect his book and why is there corruption of the book of Allah with that was given to Jesus? Where is that book now? Uh, can uh, I speak? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, with regards to the authenticity of the Bible, uh, you do not actually know who the four authors are. We do uh, know. With regards to the words of Allah being corrupted, um, it's talking about the Quran, not the Bible or the Torah. That was actually given to the Jews and the Christians to protect, uh, not Allah. Uh, and if you're asking where the original is, uh, that is with Allah. It is not with us anymore. Um, and if you think that Allah is talking about the Gospels when he says Injil, uh, he is not. Uh, the Injil is clearly stated to be from God to Jesus not to Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Yeah, so uh, so he gave us, he given Jesus a gas, uh, the, the Injil just for Jesus himself, not for anyone else? Where is it? Yep. That's the point. We don't need to provide it. We don't need to provide it. Well, that's 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 showing that you are not your your the Quran is not authentic because it came six hundred years to correct a message which it does not have a copy to show that this one is false comparing it the one that we have. Need a copy. Uh, yeah, it does not. Truth to it, it isn't. We don't need to bring a copy of the original Bible or whatever you call it. Yeah, but the proof is on you uh, because you're making a claim that Jesus didn't not, die. And historical fact prove that he died. So who so who is lying? Yeah, defender. Uh, truth, truth, truth defender. Okay. Give me a second, truth defender. Uh the, the, the sources for the historical argument of be uh, Jesus dying is the agnostic uh, viewpoint that you know anyone who lives will die. No, uh I'm pretty sure everyone the historical fact I'm speaking, there's two uh Josephus, I believe wrote of Jesus. There there are other yeah, that's, a Christian. that's not a Christian, that's a Jew, that's they they don't believe in the Bible. There are other sources that wrote about Jesus that he lived and he did die and yeah, the Romans uh did uh crucify so these sources are historical um, historical sources which is contradicting the quran came 600 years after so uh, i just yeah. want to go back to the point of allah allah was the one who deceived again like he made the image to look upon that man so again this is this is it, it is everything written and written down by allah and is this all planned out by allah yeah it is okay so truth defended with regards to the deceiving of the people that therefore really uh caused the creation of christianity as you so call it yeah he did, did that. Allah force these people to okay so did he, allah force these people to write uh gospels that deify jesus he, yeah he did he 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 is the one who makes he us he, he's the one who makes uh yeah, people yeah. to sin he's the one who <laughs> he's the one who makes uh who makes us to sin like he 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 whatever he written is it it has to be done like if you write that you're going to commit adultery you have to commit adultery so if you write that christianity has to believe in this it has to happen bro 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 relax bro. relax, relax. Qadr, uh, a lot of things. you're talking you're talking about free will Qadr? It doesn't uh, work like that. No, it's not free. Okay. Uh, I'll just like to pull up the source so we can look. Up. Okay, well, just let's pull up the. I, I don't want to speak on no, my own. I, I, I no. I'm, I, I, we're, sti we're sticking on uh, uh, whether it's Allah who deceive and fix things and write them for what they are. So I'll just share my screen. Look, look. Uh, so, look, look because I don't want to speak. Time, I, I don't want to speak on my uh, own. Uh, so that. People can see what I'm actually saying. Look, uh, look uh, I, I know your references. Like, I'm aware, I'm aware of your references. I'm not denying this. I'm saying that there are a lot of points that you mentioned we need to address. First thing is, how does Prophet Muhammad know about what happened 600 years later? All right. How do you know what happened with the previous prophets uh, thousands of years uh, before, uh, beforehand? How did you know about Abraham? We, ha uh, we have, about Isaac? we have, we have. You see, the thing is, we sh we uh we take the Old Testament yeah, and we look, and look. we confirmed it, even though the Jews did not For believe. Example. The Jews did not believe yeah. in 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 Jesus. We still take the Old Testament because it is true and accurate, and we have a copy of it. Yeah, but but you I don't have a copy. Though. You don't have a copy of can the I gospel. Finish? Yeah, go ahead. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? 
Moses? Did he have from the previous prophets? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, he did. All right. How did Moses, who came later, know about the prophets beforehand? They because he is a prophet of God. So God would tell him that there were the prophets and he would give him revelation. Same thing with prophet Muhammad, right? So we've got to be consistent here. Yeah, we got to be consistent. So you have to uh, go to the Bible and check if the Bible did confirm that Muhammad would come. And there's no there's no statement of that. Yeah. There's no one uh, affirm him. Actually, the fun part. Actually, yeah, here's the fun part. There is, but uh, yeah, if you want, we could just other things if you like first. But there actually there is, and we have a lot of channels about. It. Okay, we can go uh, to that next. We can we, we can go to that uh, later. So let's just look at this. You said Allah does not uh, fix what you have to do. So uh, in this no, I Sahih, Sahih Muslim. 2657b, really Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man must enjoy, will indulge in, which of necessity he must commit. So Allah is the one who makes you to do these things, like whatever it is. So if I believe in Christianity, Allah is the one who made me deceive. As you said, like... So... We we'll need like a commentary about this hadith. Because uh, like obviously, uh, the Quran uh, forbids, uh, you know, adultery, right? So I can just take this. So no, we're gonna make a ruling now. Right? This is not a ruling. We're so just I, looking at the text. That's why I'm telling you. Like I don't want to speak on my own. I want to take the words of Muhammad. Like because he, this is uh we're taking authentic source. Not I'm not just going to any any other sources. So this is yeah. this is just proving that Allah is the one who wrote what we have to do. Like there's another one. Like if I would have asked you now, like who who uh like did Adam sin or was it written for him to sin? Yeah, it was written in the sense that he, uh, he predicts. That it he didn't predict. It, it's not. Said. It's not predict. It's written. Like, say, for example, if I know, if yeah, yeah, we yeah. know the knowledge of God, brother, 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 the brother. knowledge. This this is like fixed. This is not like him knowing. It didn't say he knew. It's like Defender. he he Defender. fixed this. Defender, 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 defender. Look, man. Uh, like uh, you're asking me uh, about the Quran. You're asking the Muslims, so yeah, let the Muslims speak, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. That's, that, that's, kind of, that's kind of my, that happens to be my book, so yeah. It yes. Just to know, just a little bit of things. Okay, so, well, we can touch this. Down, yeah. It just means that, uh, writing down just means that he, he predicts what you're going to do, so he write, so it is written down. It doesn't make it, for example, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say that you are a teacher, right? You've got a couple students. You've got good students and bad students, right? Through your knowledge. And experience as a teacher, you know, and this good student is, uh, is gonna pass uh, because you put the test, right? Uh, and, you, and also, you know, that this bad student is gonna fail, right? Uh, now, uh, did you, right, force somebody to study or make or not study? Did you? No, you see, this analogy is not, uh, it's, 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 it's dude, not. Dude, 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 look, look. Man, man. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, look uh, with all respect like you talk a lot right the, you, you cut us off you don't give us a chance to finish right no go ahead you, you ask you want to show you ask, sure. you, no yeah. you, you ask look, me i'm just responding to what you just yeah, asked sure. like the analogy yeah go ahead right but, but look so you don't enforce them to study right but when this when the good student uh, passes and the best student fails all right so you predicted that let's say you wrote it down on your notes or whatever so you wrote it down, you predict that, but you didn't, right? Force them to stay or not study. So the point is that uh, rain down means uh, that basically he predicted that. Yeah, I know that it can be misleading. And if someone says, oh, he wrote this down, it means that I don't blame you for that. However, uh, I'm telling you that it's rain down because Allah is all-knowing. God is all-knowing to you as well. So he knows that you're going to do this. And it's simply written down because it's... Uh, it knows what you're going to do. It's, it's that simple. It's not. And regarding this hadith that you pulled up here, it's fixed. Uh, I can uh, I can find some commentary on it, like what the scholars what the scholars does. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just see. Yeah, understand what is the context, what is the from, and then we can get back to you on that. Right. Okay, sure. It's not an issue really or anything. Uh, okay, sure. But yeah, we can go back to now. Return back to fundamentals. Right. There's two ways we can take this. We can maybe talk about the prophecies of Prophet Muhammad. Right? But I feel that, I don't know, uh, if, even if you see them, uh, you feel like you have the willingness to accept or maybe you have other things you would like to focus on first. Uh, I would just to like to touch on, on one point more. Uh, so let's say you're, you say, like, I'm deceived and if I don't accept Allah, then I will, 
I will eventually go to hell. And if you're a Muslim and you do all the good stuff and you pray and you fast and all this stuff, like you will go to you will go to paradise. Yeah. Is that what Islam teach? Inshallah. Uh, yeah, so if you die as a Muslim, yeah, your good deeds, your good deeds, your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds. Then yeah, you go okay. To so sure. it's not written that if you do good deeds, then it can turn the other way and you will go to hell. So is that is that true or is that false? Like because you said if you do it's good deeds, the mercy of Allah. okay. It's so it's, the mercy of Allah so he didn't fix anything. Like as you're saying, like it's 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 just written now. Yeah, yeah, it's certain because it protects it. However, you have the ability. Look. You, are, you have the free choice. You have the free will. So, okay, choose the good, choose from the bad. Does this mean Allah never does anything and just watches uh, all the time? No. However, uh, you have the space, the ability, to live between right and wrong. And I'm sure you, you know, uh, as a man of faith, you, uh, you believe this as well. You have the ability with, uh, like, to you, the ability either to believe in Jesus or not, to do right or wrong. Right? So uh, we share the same belief. It should not really be not something complicated. So there's uh, Muhammad. So Muhammad is teaching the opposite. He's like saying people are created for hell. So again, this is like what Allah has made, like what He has fixed. Again, like it's it's in connection with the other hadith. So you can do the good, uh, good deeds no matter the amount of good deeds you do. And at the final, and at the final, uh, when it's almost your point of going to paradise, whatever He has fixed for you. That is what's going to be your your destination. So if he fix you and created you for hell, you're going to be going to hell. So that's what I'm telling you. It's like deception again, like as as he has deceived the Christians. It's it's a it's another deception. It's like it's like saying you could do good deeds, but it's actually not your good deeds. It's what Allah written. Uh, you can let civil speak. Civil speak. Uh, do, do you do you understand how Qadr works? Uh, you could explain to me. You could explain to free will, free, yeah. So free will in Islam exists. Um, Allah has already written down everything that will happen and has happened. And uh, what you're showing here is just basically color, uh, which is um, you know predestination, uh, all of that. This isn't anything uh, new or anything like that. This isn't anything that uh, we don't know about. And it also isn't something that disproves Islam. Um, these people that you're showing, they were already predestined to hell. Because so, Allah already knew that where they were going. Allah already knew with his infinite knowledge where these people were going. Okay? Uh, you're, you're, you're going like it's contradictory. Like you're just saying free will and now these people have been created for hell. It's not their free will. They didn't. May, they, they were doing do you, the deeds. Listen, they were doing the good deeds for paradise. They were almost the, to the re, very close to paradise and at the very end their deeds have been turned around for what Allah has created them. This is contrary. This is contrary. So do you understand do you do you do you understand how predestination works? Predestination, you're already fixed to do it. Like with adultery, you're fixed to, to commit uh, adultery. It's destined for you to do it and it's destined for you to go to hell. That's what it's uh, okay. it's showing here. Okay, does does Allah first force you to do it? Yes, he, just he, his knowledge that yes, he did. Is, he is, is, did. is it his knowledge that he writes these down and then later on you do it willingly no. by your own free will to do these misdeeds? No, no. Um, okay, uh, no. Jack, uh, no, Spencer, no. Let me ask you a question. No, uh, no. Allah is, the one, Allah is the one who made uh, Adam sin. It's, it, it wasn't his own sin. Defender. If it was his sin, then why did... Defender. Yeah, just go ahead. Now, look, uh, if I put a child, uh, a child in front of you, right? uh, do you not feel compelled to, let's say, murder him, for example? Do you just feel like, oh, I'm just forced to murder somebody. Just like my hand moved on its own, you know, just murdered this person. Oh, oh I just forced me to murder him. I just saw, I saw, I saw this thing. Right? Like, look, just, uh, you, just you, a minute. You, you and I, you and I both know, you and I both. Allah, Allah is speaking like, you know, from a general standpoint, because at the end of the goal, some people are going, uh, are, are there for hell, right? And some are there for that, right? doesn't mean that you don't have the choice. The choice is there. But the, at the end of the day, some people, that's just what they are. Right? Just what they are. And uh, that, that's going to be their purpose because they choose uh, this bad thing. Okay? Yeah, but uh, uh, Adam is saying he didn't choose to sin. It was Allah who was ordained it for him before he was created. Allah is the one who fixed that. It is not knowledge, but it was ordained. Like predestined. It's, it's his destiny to sin. Like you could read it. 
going to vote do, do you... Can you like remove the uh, the black person person thing? Yeah, yeah, I think. The prophet of Sublime said Moses agreed, uh, argued with Adam and said to him, Adam, you are the one who bought the flood of paradise by your sin and thus made them miserable. And all by oh Moses, you are the one who Allah selected for his messenger and for his direct talk. Do you blame me for a thing which Allah had ordained for me before he created me? Allah's messenger's brother I said to Adam, uh, who broke him Moses, why have I this argument? So Adam's statement is true that Allah did fix the sin that he should commit the sin. Why are you blaming him for the sin that Allah made him to do? Again, it's all going back to the same. Uh, a whisper to uh, to Adam to uh, take eat from the tree. Uh, you see, this this again. This, listen, this again now will prove that Allah is the one who is in control of of making uh, Satan to deceive Adam. So that's Adam. Is all everyone is just going with what uh, Allah says? You have to commit this sin. Who compelled? Who compelled Adam to eat from the tree? Uh, did Allah force him to, or did the uh, Shaitan or Iblis whisper to him? And this him, so, and then uh, and then he himself and then he himself repented to Allah. Like look, look at the full context, right? Look at the context yeah, here. Mo right, right, Moses, right. Moses is explaining right. like Muhammad. This is what Muhammad is teaching. It's not like me. He says, "Do you blame me for a sin which is ordained by Allah?" He's fixed this to him. So he, it's it, uh, it, uh, like actually, this is just the sin of Allah. He is the one who made uh, Adam sin, according to Muhammad. No, look. Uh, when Allah order ordains something, right? so for example, let's say. Uh, you or me, I experience a tragedy, experience it. I go through something, right? Uh, we don't go on blaming, right? And just and going back to the same point, we say, okay, uh, this is uh, this is the uh, the fate, right? Uh, that I, I, I've been bestowed upon. This is the fate that I just try and end. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna blame somebody, uh, and I'll say, oh, you did this, you did that. Some of them. At the end of the day, right? This is the fate. Right? This is uh, this is the fate that you get into, and you just have you have to accept that. All right. You yeah, still the, you still made the decision, but at the end of the day, some things, uh, with our been outside factors, we used to on and so forth. But look, uh, we just say at the end, uh, anything good or bad, okay, this would have been, uh, this would have been given, right? And yeah, so, uh, we, we move on. And again, Surah Al Baqarah, uh, Iblis whispers to Adam, if Adam wasn't just forced by Allah to do it, and Allah and Adam himself repents uh, to Allah, right? But uh... if Adam, as you said, blames Allah. Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, Iblis said that Allah deceived him. So we're getting uh, uh, another contradiction. Oh, wait, to what? Wait, what? Ad uh, Iblis said that uh, Satan said that Allah deceived him in the first place, make him this to deceive. So Allah is the one who is actually deceiving Allah again. Allah the, you see, Moses. Moses is saying this. This is not like sorry, uh, if we make sorry. if we make an what analogy. Right now? What are we talking about? Because I just joined. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand what's going on. Allah deceived at least. Yeah. No, I muted if, the guy. It, I muted the guy. I'm talking to you, Mo. Right. What's oh. going on? Because no one is answering. Oh gosh. Sure. Yeah, so what, it's what like doing, right? it is. Oh, it's basically predestination. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's saying okay, that Allah. He's he's saying Allah predestined everything to happen, and therefore Allah's um, ordaining that this and this will happen. Therefore, he's saying that uh, because of that, Allah is forcing people to sin, and therefore Allah is deceiving them. All oh, of that. All right. Yeah. D did you answer him, or do, like what's going on? He's just. He's denying. We're Sorry, answering it, but he's just uh, not. He's fixed on. Yeah, he's just fixed on it for some reason. Yeah, you may answer them all. Halal man, like. No, no, like, he, he's, yourself, he's unmuted. Right? I unmuted him. I had to mute you because you you were like you were talking over him. I need to know what's going on. So yeah, I think I think you answered him, but like I can answer him as well if you like. Yeah, so, go ahead. Yeah, I'm talking to you. To defend their night. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your question when you ask a question instead of doing all of this? Just ask a specific question so you can actually get an answer. I asked the question, but it didn't lead to a good point because uh, Allah is said to be uh, deceived. Okay, listen, he, he... Listen, 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 ask the question now again. I don't want you to give me like a biography of that. Okay, situation. okay, Please. sure. Is Allah a deceiver? No. So what's your point? Like, you know, so why did he do this? Tell me that this, you, you, like your point, make it. My point is that Allah deceived, uh, he made an image 
to he made the image of Jesus to go on another person and he made everyone to believe a lie and then 600 years after he said that this is this is not true and everyone believed and so it was Allah who deceived the Christian and I quoted these uh, these hadiths because Allah fixed the very portion of adultery uh, and, he, and he fixed everything that you have to commit whether it's sin or whatnot okay okay all right so the answer, two answers here. Number one, we'll talk about predestination. Number two is talking about uh, like the idea of God making things look like different, uh, like different, you know, like not. Biblically speaking, God in many ways, he said that he will use like deception and stuff like this to uh, deceive people. This is, this is a test. This is, not, uh, this is not a lie. This is simply a test. When Allah made someone look like Jesus, it's not, it's not a lie. He did, that is true. It is true that that person did look like Jesus. Based on what, like, I, I don't understand this specific point because saying this also goes back against you because the Bible in many ways says Satan can, uh, like, uh, God deceived people on multiple occasions. I can bring up the verse. Yeah, of you, like, Jeremiah like, 4, 10, for example. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. So this point doesn't really stand. This idea that Allah made, uh, you know, someone look like Jesus. Not, it's not deception. It's a test. Yeah, save his but, messiah. Yeah. The messiah. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Sure. The messiah is meant to survive. All right. Uh, in regard to predestination, the will of Allah, the, the details of predestination is not given to us. The detail, but he Allah told us two things. Number one, his will is above all wills. Number two, that we have the free will enough to make decisions. Meaning he will not force us. He will not judge us for something unless we make the decision to do that thing ourselves. That's why, for example, uh someone who is mentally ill is not judged by God. Even though they make, like they do make, like they can do stuff and stuff like this, but they don't actually have their mind. It's like their mind is not uh, there. So the decisions they made, it's not necessarily theirs. You have to make your own decision to be judged. Uh, but predestination it... is the idea. Predestination is the idea that God already knows everything. He wrote down everything that's going to happen. This is based on your actions. It's not based on something else. It's like Allah says, I will never... There's, this is a hadith actually Allah says I, uh, I will never ever commit injustice against anyone but so this judging people based on uh, like oh he already like you are going to hell because I want you to go of course his will is above all wills but it's based on your actions as simple as that Yanni but but this uh, Muhammad is saying something opposite to what you're saying. He says Allah is the one who made you to com to commit adultery like you have to commit it of necessity. He fixed it it's not knowledge. It's fixed in it. A truth defender is the exact same point again. It's uh, Allah already knows what you're going to do. It's predestined. There is no other option. You will do it, but you do it out of your own free will. But there's another hadith that says, if you... I don't get your point. It... I, I don't get your point, actually. Did you listen to a word I said? Yeah, I listened, but you're, 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 what Muhammad is saying here is totally the opposite from what you are saying. Yeah, do you understand predestination? I just literally explained to you predestination. So if your destiny, like God, no, no, just listen. When you God says, when God says you will commit adultery, meaning that by your own will, no. you will make the decision to commit adultery by yourself. That's what no, it is. no, it's it's, it's not, not saying that. It says He fixed it. If He says you will commit it because He know it, I understand your point. Your point stands. But if He says He fixed it and you will necessity must commit because He fixed it. Then this is opposite to what you're saying. Muhammad is saying no, the opposite. What do you mean? Like it, it's like, set. Where, it's where set. Like this is set. Like even the sin of Adam, he had to commit it because Adam or no, no, uh, Allah ordained it. The word. Okay. No, no, no. Just one moment. In Arabic, uh, this is in Allah. Allah has ordained. Has already written. No, the Maybe thing Adam. is, the thing is written. Yeah, ri yeah. yeah actually, in Arabic. In Arabic. I do speak Arabic myself. No, I have no, to mute it. Like yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not a, no, no, no. like a discussion. I, I'm no, not going to mute you. Read guys. Read. You don't have to. Because I know what is what he's getting. Like you don't have to. I'll just put it every second. Everyone else is listening. Yeah. It's very simple. This breed yeah. destination yeah, is the whole. Just for, just for a second, everyone. Yeah. It's simple. Are, are you talking? Just for a second. So this point does not stand. This still breed destination. Yeah, just one. Oh, are you, you want to go ahead, Mohan? I, I don't know. Like, you want to go ahead? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm but just the wording. Yeah, just go because, ahead. The, because the wording itself uh, may, may be misleading to somebody. So, yeah, can you just, uh, defenders, scroll over down? Scroll, scroll. 
the dark the dark black the dark black the dark black yeah the the dark yeah the dark it doesn't really matter. He doesn't speak Arabic. Oh. He, he will not get it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just, uh, I know. But uh, if you can try to copy this actually and put it in Google Translate, you'll see. In Allah kataba ibn Adam. Allah wrote on the son of Adam, "Hadhu," means his share, min al zina, from zina from adultery, right? Uh, and then the text will, this is the part that we care about. Yeah. You uh, you can it's grab simply, this, the darker, uh, like grab it, the, the dark text. Yeah, grab, grab it, grab it. You see the darker text here? Well, it's, uh, the bold text here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Google oh, doesn't yes. Google doesn't always do an accurate translation. Uh, the, the first line. Google the first is garbage, line. but... Uh, Hold on, the first line. Uh, yeah, yeah but uh, it should be this part at least. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. And Allah, yeah, yeah, this is enough. Copy it. Now Google Translate. Christina.com does actually have some uh, mistranslation issues sometimes. He decreed it. He decreed. So it's actually, it's what he yeah, fixed. It's decreed, but not yeah, it's the, 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 the English. You know what decree it, means? Yeah, it's like I decree you that, that you means, must sin, that you must that you must do right, this yeah, sin. I'm it's decreed. Knowledge is no. it's knowing that no. this man will do no, this sin. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, dude, 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 uh, you're just like, it's like, oh, you found that. I muted him, yeah. Just, oh, yeah, he decreed, he decreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Moha, are uh, you talking you, to you me? You can delete. Uh, look, that's the word. Uh, I'm just talking in general, honestly. Uh, the, the third word, right, I'm just going to prove it to everyone. There we go, I'm listening. The third word from the race. Highlight it. Kitab. 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 Uh, katab. 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 Wait. Yeah, the third one. Yeah, no. yeah, this one. No. Uh, Hello, I it. muted him. So I, I, I have no idea are talking to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm just, I just wanted to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Copy it. I, I, have yeah, an, I don't have an issue. Just you, one more. Just translate I, it. Yeah, I just, yeah, just want to show him the translation, right? Got them. Oh, uh, right. See, the verb, verb is right. All right. Because of course, uh, Google Translate is trying to translate within context, but uh, obviously the context, right? yeah, right. obviously the context is. And now, and now, no, you have any. Obviously, Arab, the context uh, is this. Look, any Arab individual. I think I'm muted. Uh, I don't any know. Any Arab individual, right? No, no, you're not muted now. I'm muted uh, before because. Uh, okay. well, what, does, not, what does kataba mean? Yeah. What does kataba mean? Kataba means uh, Ask any Arab, like there's Arab Christians, right? Just ask them what uh, kataba mean. It means yeah, I understand. Uh, and I... Google, uh, when you focus, I think they had a different translation, right? So if the best that we have, the best that you can provide is just, oh, uh, this is a different translation because of, uh, look, uh, yeah, we, we, we can do better. Yeah. Okay, so, so okay, let's just clear it up with this another one. Like, let's say, for example, you said what, uh, it's, it's a choice. So let's say, for example, a child or a baby die, will they go to hell or heaven? What if a child or if a baby or a little uh, infant die, will they go to hell or will they go to heaven? They'll be judged. Heaven. How will they be judged? They didn't. You said their action is what it, it's what uh, make them to go hell or heaven. Allah will test. It's pre It's prepubescent. It's prepubescent. It's a. Uh, it's a bit. No? It, yeah, obviously he didn't uh, commit any sin. Like he he just born and 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 a little child he died. Will he will he go to hell or heaven? Allah will test him. Like a dollar kind of thing. How will, how will Allah test someone that he didn't even commit an action? It's a baby. Allah is oh my god. Okay, just one moment to answer this really quickly. There are certain things that Allah did not reveal to us, so we leave it to him. That's as simple as that. Let's say a little baby dies. It did not commit any sins whatsoever, right? If it if it was a, if it was a Muslim baby, it's directly to heaven. Yeah. In the, in, uh, but Muhammad to, says. Say, nah, 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 Otherwise, okay, okay, let me answer. Let me answer. I, I, you kept saying this the same thing just a moment ago regarding hadith, and you were proven wrong. So, clearly, you're there's an issue no, with your understanding. It's not me, it's yeah. it's Muhammad saying this. It, it, it is you, it, it, it is you. So look, very simple. A baby will go to hell. There are differences of opinions in this regard, but in general, this lift Allah's no Allah no best. How where so do that's children it. go and stuff like this? What so, are we even talking about? So, you don't know how the answer. This, Moha, how did this conversation start? So, Bilai, just answer me like in this regard. Like, this way different. <laughs> it's a funny part. It's a way different. 
first, the very first thing is oh, let's uh, deceive because of. And, and now this has been just proven. Yeah. Of, you know, does it, if he accepts it or not, yeah. If he accepts it or not, uh, we don't really care. Like right now, I'll, I'll ask you a very simple question, Ruth Defender. Do you want to learn about Islam or not? Yeah, I'm not in this regard. I, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not trying. I'm just trying All to right. see what what Mohammed is saying. You are not trying actually to learn about Islam. You're being <laughs> like. Uh, literally, I, mean, I don't wanna, I want to be classy. So you you're bringing like horrible arguments that don't even make any sense. But you can't. You, explain, you don't have an answer already, just because you don't. And you still keep going about it. But, but it's already explained. I think I'm still so muted. You wanna learn about Islam or not? We will teach you. You can't. You can't learn uh, about Islam in this like in the in your way. But that doesn't make any sense. But the thing is, you don't. So have... I'm gonna be very straightforward because so we don't waste people's time. Yeah, but you don't have an answer. Like I'm asking you a simple question: If a child will go to heaven mm -hmm. or hell, you can't answer. What's what's the point? Depends, depends on the belief of the. If, if, if this is a Muslim, was, uh, it's a Muslim. It's a Muslim. It's a Muslim child. It's a Muslim that goes to heaven. Yeah, well, the Muhammad to heaven, says Muhammad says he, he can go to hell because Allah created him to go to hell. So even if the child born and he didn't do anything, he can go to hell. Predestination is something else. What we are talking about right now, we are talking about children. Do children go to I heaven? I ask you. Hell? Yeah, but I asked you and you Muslim said heaven. children go to heaven. I, I will bring you the hadith, just a moment. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't see this going anywhere. Personally, I'm irritated. Yeah. So I will leave VC, but several you do, right? I will bring I'm the hadith or post it. But uh, yeah, because it's, it's not like there has to be a level of sincerity here. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can bring the hadith, right? And yeah, I will just not entertain this uh, point any longer, right? Just want to stick up yeah. on it, stick on it, all right? That's it. Let's think. Uh, there's not nothing more to provide. Right? Okay, so yeah, look, yeah, do one thing. We just our job is to provide the message for you. If if you don't want to buy it, all right, that's your thing. All right. Yeah, but I you guys didn't have answer for the other ones and this one as well. So I guess they and they did. Yeah, they kicked me out or something. I don't know. Am I still in the server? Yeah, they they put me in prison. <laughs> Obviously, this is what will happen, and so we can see that when they cannot answer as well as I made the video, they have no answer, and when they have no answer, they just get upset or angry and just and just put you. Uh, they shut you down. They don't want the other persons to see the truth. The truth will set you free, and as always, Jesus said, He is the truth, the way, and the life. No one come to the Father only through Him. So Jesus is the truth, and the truth exposes the lie. And when they're faced with the lie, they kick you out or they ban you or they, <laughs> as you can see, just like Muhammad said, he come to take us by slave. And yeah, it doesn't make sense. Let's see what they're saying. Let's, let's join it. Yeah, he did. All right. Join, uh, you can speak. Okay, I think there's an issue because every time they can't speak. Like, so I, I, I sort of like, I didn't, he's supposed to, okay, he unmuted. All right, correct. Truth Defender. It's, do you understand predestination? I understand predestination and I understand the knowledge of God. There's a two different thing. I know, good. God, the predestination, the things that God already wrote down, that things, these things will happen because he knows past, present, and future. His will is above all wills, of course, but his will is that we have enough free will that we make decisions for ourselves. Yeah. We can, we, like the decisions we make, we are not forced. So for example, when you, when you talked about adultery or talked about whatever, all these other things, he will not force us to do it. But the hadith but says otherwise. And the decision? All right, you are something. So uh, the hadith says our, otherwise. <laughs> our decisions are the <laughs> thing that will lead us to this, you know, doing these things. As simple as that. Whether you listen or not, or like I'm not gonna engage because you already showed enough insincerity. Yeah, know? but you're you're lying. And, and you're full on lying. Children. Like as there we can see, of, uh, different as we can see in this regard. But Muslim children always go to heaven. We can see that's a lie. I just quoted yeah, it. Yeah, I know. That's well, a lie. I know, civil. That's well, I know. But I, I have to do this. You can't just you know like. Yeah, but Muhammad so Muhammad is is getting so, you bust. Yeah. Muhammad I is saying uh, Muhammad is saying the contrary contrary to what you are teaching. So that's why you couldn't give an answer. We just. 
but we just proved literally i literally explained it to you yeah and but you stopped but and now you're going over again yeah but mohammed says a child can go to hell and you said no god will judge and ask you why he will judge them what did they do did they do any wrong deed and if you do deed will you still go to heaven i, I showed the hadith that it's otherwise what well, allah written what allah written all right you I'll muted me again you, muted you me. don't stop talking so i muted you oh yeah okay wallahi this is deception this is deception. I told no. you Muslim children are going to heaven. Ch this, the hadith talks about children in general. It doesn't talk about Muslim children. Why are you like this? Why do you have to be deceptive? I told you Muslim children are going to heaven because they have already been like in indoctrinated into Islam. Yeah, but there are children who grow up in, in uh, no, 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 just a moment. There are children who grow up in uh, like other households and Allah knows the past, present and future. So this child might have been a bad, would be a bad person. There is actually a verse in the Quran that talks about this, where people say, can we return so we will, be do, we will do good? Mm. And Allah says that, no, you will not do good. Like, I know the past, present, and future. You will not do good. So okay. what you just did was deception. I, I was talking about Muslim children, and you turned into children in general. Yeah, this that's, a, that's a child. That's a child. Didn't Honest. do anything. No. Was this honest? Were this... you honest in this regard? You did not clarify it. You talked about Muslim children and then talked about children in general. Yeah, was not yeah but a Muslim children, Muhammad says, could go yeah, to hell. No, he could just, go to hell. You, you do admit. You do admit. You do admit you are, you are dishonest. I asked you in general, you said, oh, Allah will judge. But even if a child no, no, in general, no, no. even if a child in general, we're, what we're talking, what about, we're, we're talking about Muslims so, here. So not Muslim. No, no, just one moment. One moment. You go into heaven in two ways. Yes, your actions as well, but the mercy of Allah as well. Yeah. Allah knows past, present, and future, as I told you. Say if so this child who is not a Muslim, it, it's up to Allah. That, that's why I told you there is a difference of opinion. But the child who is not a Muslim, if he's going to hell, that means there is a reason for it. And Allah does this because he knows the future. It's as simple as that. Yeah, but this doesn't... is a Muslim children. Yeah. This is a Muslim baby that's going to hell. No. Yeah. We are not talking about Muslim babies. I'm are talking, I'm talking, talking about yeah, Muslim but babies. you're saying the reason why the unbelievers will go to hell because they don't believe and they may be bad, but this is a Muslim child is going to hell. What did he do? Where? Are you, the, am, am I insane, civil? Am I insane? Uh, Bilal, Bilal, yeah, Bilal, it Bilal, looks Bilal, like, Bilal, it looks Bilal, like. Bilal, oh <laughs> no, no, did I not I, clarify I, to him? Um, truth, I'm not truth, kidding. Truth defender, truth defender, I'm gonna I'm gonna say what uh, Halaman said even in like slower uh, tone. Uh, no, Muslim children will always go to heaven. Where is that? If you do you understand? Are... Do you understand? But Muhammad is saying. Understand? But Muhammad is saying the otherwise. What you are saying, he's not saying that. Muhammad is talking. Okay, I muted you by the way. So uh, you know, pay attention to the screen. So when I mute you, stop talking because I, I no one is hearing. Just listen. What I am saying is this, Muslim children go to heaven. Muslim children, children in general, amongst children, there is Muslim children. They go to heaven. Now, from all children around the world, Muslims and non-Muslim, the non-Muslims, some of them might go to hell. That's what I am saying. And Prophet Muhammad did not, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad talked in general, in general terms, the specification is understood through our tradition, by, by the Prophet himself. Okay, I will unmute you. Inshallah, I understood my point. Okay, so you said... So you do get my point, yeah? So, okay, you're saying the Muslim children, they will they will go to paradise. Yes. But this is a Muslim child that I'm telling you, Muhammad is talking about, that he, could, he will go to hell because Aisha said she will, go, she will be abort from the paradise because she's a, a Muslim child. And Muhammad said, no, it will be otherwise because Allah created for hell who are, who are, are to go to hell. So this is a baby we're speaking about, a Muslim child. Which, which, hadith, which hadith are you talking about? I was showing it on the screen, Sahih Muslim 2662b. Give me a second. And there's there, wow. there's other hadiths as well confirming this. It's not just one hadith. It's multiple two, narrations. Six, two, six, two, two, six, six, two, six, six, two, B. The, uh, yeah, the Book of Destiny. Yeah, I see it. I have it. Yeah. Are you are you are you saying I'm asking, I'm, I'm asking the yeah, same question know. about you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're not. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, fine. Listen, listen, listen what it says. <laughs> Don't you know that Allah created paradise and He created the hell and He created the dwellers for this paradise and the denizens for this hell? Denizens. Where does it say Muslim? Whatever it's called. Uh, 
Where does it say Muslim children are going? To Look, like check Sahih Muslim 2662C, and you'll see that it's a Muslim funeral they went, and the child, that's why Aisha said he that child will be from the okay, boards of paradise. Read, because read, it's. Right, a, should, I, should I read it? Should I read it, please? Yeah, um, go ahead. So, okay, this is 2662C. Aisha, the mother of the believer, said that Allah's Messenger وسلم, was called to lead the funeral play, uh, prayer of a child of the Ansar. Uh, I said, Allah's Messenger, there is happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for it committed no sin, nor has he reached the age when one can commit sin. Yeah. He said, Aisha, her adventure, it may be otherwise because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they are, were yet in their father's loin and created for those who are to go to hell. He created them from hell while they were yet in their father's loin. Exactly. It isn't saying exactly. anywhere. Exactly. Like anywhere. Else. Let him finish. Let him finish. We don't have to mute you. I'm not gonna mute you. Just let him finish. Go ahead. It isn't saying anywhere that he's gonna go to hell. He said. He said it that for adventure he will go to hell because he's created for hell. Aisha says he will oh go. He will li look at it. Aisha no, says he's. On. Aisha said he's from the board of paradise. Muhammad said no. For adventure, this is, this it's, is it's you a. You are not honest. You're not oh this, you're not. You guys are not honest. No, he says it. Things your way. It's it's, uh, it's, it's really. Hadith, we're Aisha reading. Is saying in general, like you can't assume things about Allah. It's it's a the Muslim child. General, it's a Muslim like child. Just say assume something like this. But there are other hadith that support this. When no person, one can commit but sin. But I'm genuinely like, irritated because it seems like you, like, you know. Yeah, you yeah, but you're not being honest because he didn't commit no sin. He didn't reach know. the age of committing oh, sin. You, honestly, I'm, I'm done with this. Yeah, because you're just running away and, and saying it doesn't say that when it I'm says... I'm not running away. Look, it says he it didn't commit sin. Yeah. Why, will, uh, why would Muhammad say it would be otherwise if the child didn't commit yes, sin? Yes, because there is the mercy of... Did I not tell you there is also the mercy of Allah? So Allah he sends you to hell. Heaven, huh? But the child didn't commit sin. Okay, I told you that in Islam to go to heaven, one is your action. Of course, your action is very important, but also the That's mercy false. of Allah. That's false. You do not... You, do, you are not Allah. So you don't assume his mercy. You don't just say stuff. Yes, we know. Even Prophet, for example, for example, Prophet Muhammad, although he's promised paradise, he used to pray until his feet will literally like will literally like get cut and he will get tired. He should know, but he's scared. It's like oh, like he's like uh, you know he's like very like uh, there is a taqwa we call it fear of Allah. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, but so Allah the, wants you to commit pray, sin. This, even though he's promised paradise, for you to assume yeah, they're going me. to heaven, it's like, no, yeah, they are going mm -hmm. to heaven. You don't say this yeah. stuff like they say, inshallah. It's truth to finish, right? No. Should I try yeah. to explain the hadith from my understanding? Basically, what he's saying is the Prophet ﷺ doesn't know. Okay, he can't dictate where someone will go. He doesn't know if they're going to go heaven or hell, even if it is a paradise. Yeah, he doesn't decide that. It's Allah who decides that. Yeah, but this is that's why he's oh, saying. Oh no, they're not. They're <laughs> they might. Like yeah, yeah they keep I, meeting. I, I actually, I'm actually reading. Uh, I'm reading right <laughs> now a part of the hadith, a commentary. Yeah, a commentary of the hadith. That says, oh, okay, do I have to mute you again? Yeah, but uh, you're not I'm allowing me to speak. Actually. You're just speaking, uh, and the thing yeah, is, I know, the thing because you are showing insincerity. I'll just leave this because so it doesn't no make point. sense. You, All right, you're I'll just read, just read honest. the commentary for you. I will leave the link as well. Uh, it's in Arabic. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so basically, everyone yeah, can see. Commentary, right? This is what uh, what um, several said. Adam al Jazm bikonihim in Ahl Jannah. Do not assume that he's from the people of heaven. Yes, he is. Like and, uh, children are going to heaven, but don't go and say, "Hey, this specific person is going to heaven." You don't. In general, children will go to heaven, but you don't know. Allah knows best. Because it depends on the actions of the people. The baby but didn't general, commit sin. Yeah, <laughs> this child did not commit. There's a hadith about this actually, another hadith as well. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't know, several. If you want to unmute him, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. But I, I generally don't see this going anywhere because he's fixed on this specific per, uh, on this specific hadith and he himself doesn't understand it. So yeah. he imposes his understanding on us. No, I'm not. So I don't really, where do, where do you see this going? Uh, honestly, I don't see it going anywhere, anyways. Um, up to you, bro. Let me have a final say. One final say. Okay. Can I have a final speech? Can I have a final word? Uh, I'm still muted. Uh, I don't know what they're doing there. If they're just cutting me off or something. But yeah, Allah is the one who wants you to commit sin, as we can see here. And if you don't commit sin, then he will sweep you out of existence because you don't sin. So I don't know what they did there. Did they kick me out? I'm still in call.
Yeah, they're they're speaking to each other. They muted my song as well. <laughs> I'll just leave because they don't have answer. As we can see, there's no answer. I'll just leave because the point is they just try keep dancing around it, and yeah, there's no point. They they have no answer as usual, and this is what Islam is. When they can't answer, they just jump around and say things that's not there. I show that the child did not commit sin. So what's the mercy used for? There's no point of using mercy. Yeah, I know. All right. We basically gave you enough more more yeah, can enough I have explanation. One last point? One last point? One last point? Uh, not really, no. Uh, not really. Okay, then uh, we, just, we just, just, just like end it. It doesn't make sense. As you can see, I did the best and they just kicked me out and that's it. Uh, yeah, you guys could check out the server as well. Anyone wants to come debate, uh, I open free. I don't kick, I don't bland, I don't block. I give everyone a fair chance. And uh, yeah, this was uh, as, as, I, as I expected. And I told uh, one of the Muslim that was in my server that this is what they would do. They would kick me, block me because they cannot answer. And as always, the truth will prevail. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And Islam is a lie from Satan.